children, I hope you are all well and that you're going to enjoy this little section of work that I've done. The two days this week are public holidays, so I have tried to keep the work to a minimum and I've put in a lovely story as well, which I hope that you will enjoy. I hope you like the picture that's here on the slide. It's about land animals, wild animals, farm animals, and animals that we keep as pets. All of these animals that you look at on the slide are animals that live on land. They feed on land. They sleep and live on the land. If they are hunters, they hunt on the land. We have animals that you would generally find in a game reserve. If you visit a zoo, you might find a few of the animals there. These are not animals that are easily tamed. We have farm animals, which are very useful. We have milk, wool, meat, all coming from animals that farmers take care of. And then we have those animals that you keep at home, animals that you have to look after and be responsible for. You need to give them a place to sleep. You need to feed them. You need to take them to the vet if they are ill. These animals are generally easily trained, like your little puppy or your cat. So with the pets, you'll be most familiar with them because your friends might have one of the animals that you might not have as a pet. We will be learning more about animals in the, this week and next week. Remember, when we do handwriting, we use a sharpened pencil. Before you start, make sure that you've put your dots in the margin. We make sure that the letters are sitting on the line with the dot. So you're going to write your date. You might choose to do your handwriting on a different date. So it doesn't have to be the 28th of April. But I want you to write the date and the heading. Make sure you underline with a ruler. You are going to copy and complete the letter P. The capital letter P takes two lines. It starts at the top, straight down, up again, round like a semicircle, close it halfway. That's the capital letter P. The small letter P sits on the line. So you're going to start on the line that has the dot. You're going to go straight down, touch the bottom line, up again, round a semicircle and close it. You can see it very clearly in the third line where we have the capital letter P and the small letter P. Please form your letters correctly. Take your time and write neatly. And our sentence, Pamelo, we have a comma, Precious and Princess are pretty little girls who like purple. Full stop. The three names are in capital letters because they are proper nouns. Remember that you need to write neatly with the finger space between each word. Make sure that if you make a mistake, you erase it neatly, grade twos. So this week we have the qu words. Please make sure you fold your page in half, fold it in half again, and you'll find you have four columns and you can copy down the qu words. Quack, qu a k, quack. A duck quacks. It's a sound the animal makes. Quad, qu a d, quad. Quad is the short form, an abbreviation of the word quadrangle. We also use it to refer to something that has four wheels, like a quad 
spike queen 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 the queen is royalty she's the head of the royal family the queen of england is queen elizabeth the opposite of queen is king our next word is quest a quest means to go on a search or to hunt for something it's related to our next word which is question if you ask a question you need information the opposite of question is answer the next word is quick do not be so quick that you make mistakes in your work quick is the opposite of slow the word that we have next is not one that you listen to or hear often it is quill a quill is what was used to write with many years ago before pens were invented it's a feather that's sharpened and dipped into ink to write the next word is the word quilt a quilt is a cover for a bed it is made up of pieces of fabric the next word quit to quit means to give up and i know that many of you will not give up you will persevere quit the next word is often confusing we say quite he is quite busy today that means that the person has a lot of work to do they actually very busy the next word is quiet it means soft or silent the opposite of quiet would be noisy the word quiver refers to a container that you use to keep arrows in for your bow a quiver is usually a round container that you sling over your shoulder robin hood had a quiver full of arrows the next word is quiz a quiz is a sort of game or a puzzle you need to answer questions in a quiz Happy, cheesy, happy, happy, cheesy, 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 happy, happy, cheesy sounds. Hi, I love sounds like. Okay. And even. Let's look at this sound. This sound has two letters: Q and U. We all know that Q says. Uh, 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 I don't really know what Q says. Sometimes Q says k, and U says a, uh, or U. But when we put them together, Q U says. <coughs> Just kidding! Actually, when we put them together, Q U says qu, qu. Qua, 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 qua. Do you know what? Q and U really like each other. In fact, when you see the letter Q, it will almost always be right next to the letter U. I'm serious. Many words start with the Q and U, the qu sound. For example, quack, queen. <laughs> Can you think of a word that starts with a Q U Q sound? Ready? Go.
Does anyone have any? Time's up! Okay, don't forget the Q, U, Q sound. Until next time! Quiet! 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 Quiet it!